Let's bring in Roya Nika. She's a royal correspondent for the UK Sunday Times. Roya, good morning. Good to see you. I can only imagine the amount of pressure right now mounting on uh, on on the royal family. We've heard from uh, Boris Johnson. We've heard even from the White House here. Talk about that pressure. Well, look, there's no doubt there's a huge amount of pressure on Buckingham Palace to r- respond somehow, in some way, to that bombshell interview. But I think the fact that they haven't responded yet, they are taking their time, they are considering how best to do it, tells you everything. This will not be a knee-jerk reaction from Buckingham Palace. This is going to be a very thought-through, considered response. There was a possibility they might respond last night. We were told by palace sources that wasn't going to happen. There is more time that's going to be taken. And I think they're going to take everything that they've heard and seen very seriously. And how is it going over there? Because, of course, uh, you know, last night was the first television airing of the whole interview in the UK. How are people reacting? I have to tell you, it has gone down in an incredibly divisive way over here. There are people who, of course, um, you know, think that the, the claims that, that and the statements that Harry and Meghan made are really shocking. They paint a picture of a monarchy not comfortable with uh, issues of race, not able to give Meghan the support she needed when she was, as she says, suicidal. There are a lot of other people who feel that these are issues, these are problems, horrible problems inside a family that should have been dealt with and addressed inside a family. And to make these things public in such a bombshell way with Oprah... Um, is questionable and and extremely difficult for the Queen, age 94, currently reeling from a difficult year with Prince Philip still seriously ill in hospital. There were clear allegations of racism and there was sort of a broad brush at one point, like who who was the person who said that how dark is Archie's skin going to be? And clearly they were trying to make it clear it wasn't the Queen and it wasn't Prince Philip. So are they knocking on the door and trying to figure out who that person was who said that? I think we've just got to wait and see what Buckingham Palace come out with. You know, that there are pages and pages today in the papers of the things that Harry and Meghan said versus the things that happened at the time. There is no doubt that Buckingham Palace are not going to try and brush this under the carpet. This is something that I'm sure they're going to take very, very seriously. But I think the one thing everyone does want to try and avoid, which is very difficult if you look at the papers today, is some sort of witch hunt Mm -hmm. in terms of members of the royal family. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.